Let's have some fun today. I'm usually bringing you some productivity tips. How to work in different apps, the better and faster way. But this time, I want to look at some funny things you can do on your Mac. It's all for free and it's there mostly by default. Your Mac actually comes with one game pre-installed. It's called Chess. You can open it from the launchpad and you can try to beat your computer. If you are good at chess, you can go into settings and increase the difficulty. You can also change the board style. And what is cool is the fact that this is a 3D chess. You can grab any corner and move the board around. Next I want to talk about this music app. You actually have two interesting things connected to music app. When you play any song, you can click on this button to show lyrics and you can sing along if you want. But if you just want to listen to the music in the background, you can turn on visualizer to display some graphics following the song. You can find options for it on the window menu. And there are two different styles, the classic version and switch it here to the new one. You can adjust it a little bit further if you press the slash key, the one on the right side of your keyboard. You will get additional commands here to change few things. So it's quite nice background for playing a music. Or you can even screen record it and use these weird shapes on your videos. There is a very cool screensaver connected to music. Let's go to system settings and to screensaver. Most of these are just showing you photos in different ways. But if you scroll down here, you will find few additional screensavers. Here is the typical hello screensaver, some different graphics. You also have the word of the day screensaver, which will bring up a word and show you its definition. But what I was talking about is this, album artwork. When you select it, it's showing you music library album covers. But it's not just for showing. You can actually go over that and play a music from here. It's very cool and useful screensaver if you listen to music often. When I mentioned the artwork, do you know that you have a whole set of images on your Mac? Probably not. But if I call them emojis, then we are on the same boat. But emojis are not only for sending a smiley face in the message. They can serve many purposes on the Mac. You can use emojis to rename files. You can use emojis as an icon for your folders. Or you can just simply use it as pictures in pages document. They are actually quite detailed and cool pictures. Use Ctrl Command Space to open emoji viewer and select anything you want. I will select few different ones for demonstration. There are so many different characters representing so many different things and you can play with it for a long time. It's better to make it larger to maybe 150 and you will find out so many details which you can't normally see. With this you might or might not agree with me. But for me it's fun to be learning new shortcuts. So let's open up the shortcut app. And as you can see there are already quite few shortcuts which we have created on this channel before. It's fun to create these shortcut scripts and they are very useful. So if any of these caught your eye you can see videos about each one of them on the channel. But what you can also do is to open the Apple Gallery and browse some other shortcuts. You can get inspiration, you can open it and you can see how it's done and learn something new. If you are into technology and want to learn something new, there is a cool app called Swift Playgrounds. This app can teach you some basics of coding. It can be fun for you if you like this topic. And what is good on that? It's for free to download on the App Store, because it's actually made by Apple. Another app you can get on the App Store is called Sketchbook. I use it on my iPad. It's almost a professional drawing application, let me show you. There are actually images I have made with Apple Pencil. Without any previous experience, just by following some tutorials. So it's really fun to make drawings like this. But it probably makes more sense on the touchscreen than on the Mac. Plus, it's not for free on the Mac. But anyway, if you like drawing, 
you will find many other free apps on the App Store as well. Once I'm on the App Store, I can switch here to Play category. Scroll a bit down and browse the charts of top free games. I can play free games on the Mac as well. I don't need to pay monthly subscriptions to Apple Arcade and I can still find many fun games to play. Another very cool app made by Apple is GarageBand. I spend hours creating some random music. It's really fun and easy to play with it even if you are not a musician. You can record your voice through the microphone or an instrument that is plugged into your Mac. But you can just bring up a little instrument here and use this to play some music. Another thing I want to mention is Podcasts app. You can listen to millions of podcasts for free. You can do that from your iPhone, from your iPad and from the Mac as well. I usually download these podcasts to my phone and listen to it somewhere outside on the way. But you can do that on the Mac as well and listen to some podcasts home. And it doesn't need to be just some random talk shows. You can even listen to some lessons from different universities or maybe learn a new language. There are many things to listen to. Now let's go back to music app. Do you know that you can access radio stations from there? Not these online streaming platforms just putting music together, but the real radio stations from around your home. If you search for a radio station you know, you can listen to it using Apple Music. Of course it will not always work, many times it's limited to just the country you are, but many stations are available there. Your Mac also comes with the Books app. One of the things that makes the Apple Bookstore different than others like Amazon is the fact that here you can find free books. So you can click on the bookstore and scroll here between many free books. Normally on the Apple Bookstore you can also find some comics and graphic novels. Unfortunately, it's not available everywhere around the world. So the choice of books and comics will be limited by the country you are viewing it from. Another app you have on your Mac is called Photo Booth. This works with your front camera. You can use this to simply take a picture of yourself or record video. But there are all sorts of fun effects you can apply there. It's fun to play with it. Particularly if you have kids around and you just want to entertain them for a bit. Another app on the Mac is called Grapher. You can find it through Launchpad, but easier to search for it using Spotlight. The purpose of it is to use graph equations. But if you just want to have some fun with it, go to examples and look at some of the 2D or 3D examples that are already predefined here. Select one of these and you can get a pretty cool looking graphic. You can play with it, rotate it around and you can even screen record it and use it in some of your videos as a cool animation. If you go to equation menu, you can actually export it as an animation. But it has a lot of settings here, so I found it easier to just screen record it. Last thing I want to mention doesn't even require any app. You can simply open this page on Safari. It's called trailers.apple.com. And as the name says, this is a special Apple page where you can watch movie trailers. You might be asking why I would visit this page if I can search for it on YouTube. Well, what is cool about it is that you can view movie trailers of not only current or upcoming movies, but also old movies. I many times use it as inspiration for what movie to watch right now, not what I can see in the cinema next month. And above all of that, you can watch it all without any limitation and ads. I don't need to watch advertisement before and after each video on YouTube. But what you need to do right now is to watch every video on this channel. Well, I'm kidding. You can do whatever you want. But if you want to support my small channel here, every like or subscribe will be very appreciated. Anyway, I hope you had some fun watching this video. And now you know what to do when you are bored on your Mac. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.